Hi there, it's uh, Alex Herbertson calling about. Hello there. Hi, yep. thank you for your help. No problem, Alex. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye. actually picked up this time. That was positive I think. I don't know how I'm gonna edit that phone call in. I'm always a bit awkward on the phone. That was uh, our solicitor's assistant. She was meant to give me a call this morning, so they said on Monday, to um, arrange a telephone meeting for us to discuss all the documents she sent to me last week just to update us on how everything's going with the house and maybe when it will be completed or when we can exchange contracts and stuff like that, how the searches are going. Um, but apparently she's been in meetings all day she should be able to give me a ring in between clients um so it's nearly well, it's like 11 now so hopefully by midday i'll have a call back i guess you have to keep pestering them or they don't you know they uh push you back a bit because they've got more press they've got people in the actual office to deal with so she said she's got six clients today so she might not be able to have the telephone meeting today but if we can book something for tomorrow at least then that would reassure me because i'm driving down today and a telephone meeting having to stop halfway down to Cornwall would probably be a bit awkward. Now I've got to pack the car, sort out the presents that were in the car for my family that I'm leaving here. Didn't have time to wrap them, so I'm gonna to have to leave them in a safe place. I quite like this little setup here. I think I said in the last video, this was my old bunk bed when I was a wee nipper. Um, I'm surprised it's still standing, to be honest. I'll take these glasses off because of the glare. I think I've decided, um, I haven't discussed it with Maddie yet, but because I'll be coming up fairly soon to see my family. Uh, my dad's currently abroad, so I didn't get to see him this time, but I'll come back before, I don't know what we're doing for Christmas, but I'll come back before Christmas anyway. Um, my mum wanted to go to the pantomime as well. <laughs> it's kind of a weird Christmassy tradition we have. It's a very English thing. I feel like we should have grown out of it, me and my brother, but now we just kind of go almost every year. I think you learn to appreciate the pantomime more when you're older. When I was a teenager, I absolutely hated it. And I hated, like, if you were sat near the stage when they tried to interact with you, like the actors on stage, or they come down the aisles and try to interact with you, get you to talk into the microphone. I absolutely hate stuff like that. But anyway, I'm waffling on. But I was saying, was, because I'm coming back, I don't think I'll put the bikes on. We're not going to be cycling. It's like rainy, cold. We're not going to be cycling this month, I don't think. And the car's jam-packed anyway. I can't remember if I explained. I had to get my brother to come down and help. The other day to help me pack up, uh, because without him I wouldn't have been able to. I am really looking forward to listening to Christmas music in the car. Especially, and I've been thinking about this lately, uh, Driving Home for Christmas by Chris Rea. I think it's pronounced Rea. R-E-A. Uh, could possibly be the best Christmas song of all time. The driving home is kind of a metaphor for the whole year. You work hard all year, you drive home all day, and then your reward is Christmas slash arriving home um, and being around family and friends. And I think it's just such a great song. So let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Christmas song is and why it's Driving Home for Christmas by Chris Rea. Good morning. So I'm in a different location today. I am in my sister's new place that she's living in. It is her boyfriend's grandparents' house and they've just moved in and they've just redone the carpet and Charlie, um, my sister, wanted some help today just sorting all her things out and moving in and all of that so we've come down, me and my mum, um, to help her out and it's such a nice house, it's so cool and like there's loads of mid-century things everywhere like look how nice these stairs are, aren't they cool? But yeah, we're gonna get start with the kitchen I think so I thought this would be kind of fun because I can show you a bit of organising and decluttering that's so kind of in the moving theme because coincidentally we've been moving at the same time but I'm gonna have some breakfast first. So Charlie's moved in and here's some of her boxes of things so we're just going through the cupboards and she's choosing the stuff she wants to keep so we're keeping in here and then those are going into another room for Tom, Charlie's boyfriend's mum, to look through and sort. Hi again, in the car, in town. All packed, have left home. I just had to nip in to town to pick up this and um, drop off something for an Amazon return. All good. Oh, it's been a real squeeze. Um, the solicitor rang back 
uh, at about half two. What time is it now? About three. Oh. She rang back about half two and we finally got a phone appointment. I was kind of caught unaware so I didn't get to record it. Uh, I've got a phone appointment tomorrow at half twelve to discuss everything. But by the sound of it, she made it seem like everything's almost done, which is really good. Yeah, wow. Been a really long few days, but I'm looking forward to getting to Cornwall, maybe having a lie-in. Still got lots of stuff to do. Still got whole vlogmas to do. Got Christmas to sort out. And even then, like, once the house is done, like I said before, then the real work begins, getting everything into the house and sorting it out and doing the little bits and bobs. I'm actually looking forward to it in a weird way. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun few months. So I better get driving. I wonder how long it's gonna take me. I wanna say four and a quarter hours, so 7.15. If I could get back for dinner time, that'd be great. We've made lots of progress. These are things Charlie's keeping. And then there's lots of empty cupboards. And we've collected things for charity slash things that Tom's family will go through and have a look if they want to keep anything. We were saying, isn't it amazing what you can collect in a lifetime, all the different thingies. What biscuits have you got? Time for a tea break. I suggest you make a start on these sweets. Ah, Bertie Bott's every flavour beans. Yeah, I was unfortunate enough in my youth to come across a vomit flavoured one. And since then I'm afraid I've rather lost my liking for them. But... So we've done a lot of cleaning. All the cupboards inside. Made progress with the stuff on the floor. And I think we're going to have a lunch break. And then put stuff in the cupboards. <laughs> yeah, we bought these twiglets. It's Christmas when these twiglets come out. We've made loads of progress today, haven't we? So we put, we've cleaned all the cupboards, put everything away. So now we've got all of Chabot's cups and teas and... <laughs> I'm assuming you don't want to be on camera today. Food. So we've made loads of progress. It's looking good. Would you look at this? we made so much progress. Everything's away in the cupboards. All the boxes are away. Everything's clean. Well, nearly clean. Woohoo! Well done, team. Hello! <laughs> oh my god, why are they going insane? Can you hear them? Come here, doggies! Um, that is my... Willow, come here! That is my shoe! You naughty little... Muffin! You naughty little woman. Ah! So I just got home and these guys are very excited to see us. Hello! <laughs> Hello! Why are you so excited? Shh! <laughs> I have no idea why they're being like this. Hello Midnight! I'm at the top of the stairs. Just got home and I'm now going to um, edit. I'm having a bit of a a routine in this house where I mid-afternoon I go up to my bedroom and sit in bed and edit. Look what I'm wearing, my new merch. Eat Happy. I love this one. It's so cute. I was wearing it today with my jeans. I think it looks really good with blue jeans. Also on this channel I don't think I've said like thank you to everyone who's bought our my clothing line because I'm so appreciative and thankful that so many of you really enjoyed the clothes that I brought out and all the positive feedback because everyone seemed to really like the fact that it wasn't your typical merch where there's like my face or my name on some t-shirts. I love that everyone really understood that I, well we, Alex and I, put a lot of effort into making designs that aren't um, necessarily merch. They're just clothes that I think are cool and have cool slogans on them that I would wear and I've been wearing ever since um, we released them. I don't know if you've noticed in my vlogs, it's all I've been wearing because they're so soft and so comfortable. I love this one, I love the yellow. A super summary. This weekend, if you order some of these t-shirts or any of the clothes on the website, you get a free pair of bamboo socks. So I know a lot of you said that you were gonna buy some of my stuff for Christmas presents or you wanted it on your Christmas list and socks are a great stocking filler. So you get a free pair of bamboo socks uh, if you use the code SOCKY when you order anything on from Friday at 9 a.m. to Sunday at midnight. So go check that out and get yourself a free pair of socks. I thought that was a really cute little 
idea. Go and have a look and share your pictures when you do order them and when they arrive because I've seen a few of you guys wearing them in pictures and it makes me so happy to see. And yeah, just thank you so much because this is another way that you can support us and it's great because it's giving you an option this Christmas to buy presents or buy something for yourself that's sustainable and ethical and made, you know, fairly. So that's something that I'm really happy about and we'll hopefully come out with lots of new designs in the future and carry on carry on doing because I'm I'm just yeah really excited by it but anyway I'm gonna get on to editing now Alex will be back this evening at some point probably at like eight o'clock or so he's left Surrey at like three we had some issues with the solicitor again wasn't answering the phone and we've been trying to get hold of them and it's been a bit difficult but um he finally got hold of them and we're speaking with him tomorrow so hopefully things with the house will start moving forward quickly now but yeah he'll be back later so he'll finally be properly in the vlogs again and then maybe we can start you know doing a bit of house shopping and stuff i hope so at least hurry hurry mama's looking worried will the pie be ready Nine minutes off. I blame the flooding. I would have been here at exactly 7.15 if I hadn't had to go a different route to avoid the flood. This is the Linda McCartney. No, what's this bit here? I guess it's some of the wine jelliness. Oh. I thought this it was like uh, cranberry sauce or something you put on. I think it's the stuff that goes is like on the top of it. Oh. It's like melted off. But there's this one. Shallot, red wine and shallot glaze. Mm. Oh, I haven't had this in ages. It's nice. Oh, so tired. Oh. Specimen one. Specimen two. Specimen three. Elbow. What are you trying to do? This is his, I want to get into the bed, but you need to say, Elmo, get in the bed, before I'll do it. <laughs> You're kind of a good boy. Oh, struggling. And then little Willow, sorry, ignore all this mess. And little Willow is all bullied, so she's on the floor. The other specimen is in there. So he got home quite a few hours ago. Guess how much time he spent with me? I would say maybe about five minutes. <laughs> He's gotten used to not being around me because he came home, he had dinner with me. I'd already eaten dinner, but he sat with me and had dinner. And then he went next door to watch the football. And then I came up here to just uh, upload the vlogmas and finish it off and everything. And then I went downstairs and tried to talk to him because I was like, you've not been around me, you've been really mean and you don't love me. <laughs> and um, he was like, oh, I'm helping my brother. And barely looked at me in the eye and then he just went to the toilet. Romance isn't dead. <laughs> this is what happens when you've been with someone for eight years. <laughs> But alas, I have spoken too soon and I am being mean because look what he brought back. So this is all that matters. He said on the phone he got me on bar and he got me on bar. Excuse me. Yeah. What are you doing? Don't go in there. <laughs> Up. <laughs> yes, what's trouble at the old mill? She's kind of wet. <laughs> she can smell it. She can smell your nasty poo. My nasty. There we go. How you doing? I just don't like you very much. You haven't spent any time with me since you got home. <laughs> I'm going to be spending at least like seven hours asleep in bed next to you. Is that not enough? No. She's just kind of frozen. She's just in awe, in love with you. I find it weird when dogs do, like... She's saying that she's submissive. Yeah, but I don't want her to be submissive. It feels like I, I I'm, like, mean to her or something, so she, like, rolls over. No, it's just a natural thing, because she sees you in a certain way. It's like a... 
<laughs> it happens when you become like a part of a family in a pack. Yeah. She kind of just... But then when I go to like... I know dogs kind of don't like you to go straight for their face or get too close to their face sometimes. Like, that's kind of like... Kind of aggressive in dog language, I guess. But when I, when I go to like pet her, she always goes like... Like... Submissive... Licking her tongue... No, no, licking her... Do dogs have lips? I don't think they do. It's just a submissive thing. It's, it might even be to do with the fact that there are two other dogs in the house. Oh, could be. Because if maybe if she was oh. on her own, she wouldn't be this way. But this one... No. He's been following me everywhere. He always does this. Whenever I come home, Elmo follows me everywhere. Because uh, Willow and Midnight are other dogs. So let's give you a rundown on the dogs. <coughs> so, <coughs> so, <coughs> so, Elmo is the Labradoodle. She's still doing it. This one. <laughs> The one on the floor was Willow, and Midnight is the Bur so Elmo's a Labradoodle, Willow's a Springer Spaniel, and then we have Midnight, who's a Bernese Mountain Dog. Elmo's the only dog that I lived with, so when I was in uh, college, was it college? Yeah. Was it? Or was it university? I you got him like first year of uni. So it was first year of uni and it was in the summertime because he was a puppy and I looked after him when he was a puppy I because... I was trying to come up with a name for him. Yeah. It took a very long time. One of the reasons my parents always like whenever we have puppies or dogs or whatever, they like really encourage us to look after them because we're normally the ones who persuade them to get dogs. So they were like, well, you can have Elmo, we can have a puppy, but you guys have to help us. Are you disappearing again? Yeah. No, because you've not been in the vlog today. Oh. You can't just disappear. I'm telling the story of the dogs. Oh, okay. You can't just sneak out. I'm sneaking. I'm busy. You've not been in the vlog. What are you busy doing, mate? I'm watching a documentary about football. Well, let's continue the story of Elmo and the dogs. I don't know the story of Elmo, so I'll you carry on. I'll tell the story. So, Maybe I should go. No. <laughs> so, I, this camera makes the, our faces look weird when they're on the edge. It, like, stretches a little from my cheek. <laughs> Um, yeah, Elmo. Hurry up. So he sees me and my sister as like, um, Mummy. I think kind of like brothers, sisters, mothers, kind of, because we looked after him when he was a puppy and he's grown up with us. Whereas Willow, we only had a few years ago, it was a friend who we, had, we adopted from because he split up with his girlfriend, so they couldn't look after the dog and they sort of asked if we should have Willow and we said yes, and then Midnight was a similar thing. Um... It was a long story, but they visited somewhere who had a bit... They had midnight. <laughs> Williams was <laughs> popping in the room. <laughs> yeah, my parents went to um, went on holiday and they had Bernie's Mountain Dog. We used to have another Bernie's Mountain Dog called Teddy and they fell in love with Midnight and that, it turned out they actually needed someone to take care mm. of him because they were moving to Thailand. So... You imagine Midnight in Thailand. Yeah, it wouldn't be fair. So they were trying to find someone and it was like meant to be because my mum... Uh, we used to have another Bernie's Mountain Dog called Teddy who unfortunately died quite young and it was devastating for us. So, Willow and Midnight we've had since I've kind of not lived at home. So not since, you know, since I've left university because at university I was always home constantly. So they, I feel like Elmo whenever, I, look this is a very long story. <laughs> I feel like whenever I come home Elmo like misses me and same with Charlie. Oh, he, yeah, he, does. he howls and he has to follow you around. Yeah. yeah he follows me around for days and he gets over it but like for the first few days he'll follow me in every room I go in. Like I was in this room I went downstairs he followed me downstairs he followed me into the kitchen and I was following yeah. me back up here again. He growled at me on Sunday night because I moved him off the bed. He is like bad. He doesn't like strong confident men. He's just a naughty dog. He's yes. I think because there's two female dogs, he yeah. just really takes control and he is too he he's, not me like that. he's not mean, but he's just bit of yeah. a shit. Yeah. He doesn't growl or bite or fight with them. Um he just is like when he's in the room, they get scared to come in the room. Yeah. That's kind of the extent of it. Like Willow, Willow earlier. Never used to be so much like that. No, I think it's the dynamic it gets worse. Mm. But um Elmo nice? was sleeping next to the bed a minute ago and Willow came in and she went round the other side because oh, she couldn't no. come up here. Oh. oh, I don't know. I wonder if there's a way around that. My parents would never well the minute they wouldn't ever have the time to like train them though, mm. to figure that out. Willow used to be fine. And Midnight used to be terrified. Now Midnight's got a bit better, I think. Yeah, but Willow, Willow's got a bit she came into this house all guns blazing and she's probably <laughs> just mellowed a bit, hasn't yeah. she? She's facing the other way. Willow, what is wrong? Oh. 
Look, no. her eye, uh, her hair is like draped just on her eyes. All these dogs are so special. Can't wait to have um, so our own one day. Not that special. Elmo is just he a has grumpy to take old up man. As much space as possible. So if I was to describe the dogs in like human characters, Elmo is a grumpy old man. <laughs> Willow is a hyperactive like little girl, like a six-year-old who's just full of energy. And Midnight is like. Um, Old grandma. Like an old... No. Cheerful grandma. Like a really happy, but slightly tired grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all so cute. Anyway, should we end the vlog? Okay. Yeah, look at him. He, midnight, sorry, Willow will curl into a tiny little ball. Like I a, know, like and Elmo is like spread like eagle. Like a fall. And, and this is Frankie. Frankie is the most affectionate cat. As he's got older, he's become so much more affectionate. And he's been licking himself like this for probably about an hour. He does that sometimes. It's so cute. He's a very clean cat. Frankie also follows me around when I come home because he knows that he can sit on me for ages and it's warm. Because... I don't, yeah, I don't think your I'm, parents... I'm the best give one. Him, they don't let him that's sit was, on them all the time. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. going to say. I'm the one who lets him sit yeah. on me for ages because my, my dad gets annoyed because he, he put things with claws in sometimes yeah. to cling on. And um, my mum gets hot, so she doesn't <laughs> want him on her. So Frankie knows he can sit on me. Yeah. Anyway, let's end the vlog. Yeah, let's. What are we doing tomorrow? Don't know. Filming a video for my channel. Ooh, how exciting. What is yes. it? I don't know. Yeah. Good night, mm. everybody. Are you looking at the camera? Uh, should I be? I can never see your eyes. You can. You can in this light, can't you? No. Oh. Good night, everyone. Uh. <laughs> Good night. Good night. While the grown ups all huddle up aside away from the blistering cold, soon Santa will be here. The sad.